Drivers are paying a heftier price for their daily commutes and runs to take the kids to school or maybe soccer. But surging gas and diesel costs are also taking hit on people who do not get behind the wheel. Queen City News reporter Savannah Rudisell is live in Huntersville with how companies are trying to keep their cars on the roads. Good morning. Good morning, and White and Jason. We're seeing that rideshare companies are passing this extra cost from the high gas prices onto their customers. Starting soon, uh, customers are going to start seeing surcharges on their bill, and it's going to be a little bit more expensive regardless of what time they're calling for that ride. Lyft is the latest company to announce, but they haven't said exactly how much they'll be causing or ca charging customers extra. They did say that they'll release that number a little bit later on this week. And Lyft executives say that they're going to be passing or um, passing these the savings that they're making directly back to the drivers. All these surcharges are going exactly to the person who's picking you up. Uber executives say they're going to do the same. Uber riders will now see a 45 to 55 cent charge per ride and at least 35 cents for an Uber Eats order. Now, some people who can't drive say public transportation isn't always reliable, so they've had to be patient through driver shortages and now price hikes. I will just assume it's going to be 30 minutes before I get picked up. And that's on the short end. I've walked the two and a half miles home with my guide dog. The rideshare companies haven't announced just yet how long those surcharge policies may last. Now, some people, they say they're not waiting for these prices to drop and some drivers resorting to theft. Coming up here within our next half hour, we'll tell you about the rising uh, cost of gasoline theft and how law enforcement members say you can protect your cards. Coming up here within our next half hour. Reporting live in Huntersville, Savannah Rudisell, Queen City News.